I went out this morning and I collected something that I've been wanting to use for the longest time and it's this right here. This, if you don't know, is a pouch that you get when you buy a lens of great magnitude and size. This is the lens in question. This right here is a 70 to 200 and this, this is my dream lens. I've used this lens once before last summer and it completely blew my mind. You can shoot bangers with this lens from anywhere. Like if you see a shot that's 200 meters away, you can just point it, zoom in and bang, you got the shot. I'm taking some of my best shots on this lens and honestly, I wish this was mine, but it's not mine. I rented this for a shoot that I'm doing later this evening, but this is a fucking beast of a lens. This is literally like a cheat code for good shots. Like if you want good shots, get one of these. It's a little bit pricey, of course, but just look at it. When people see you using this, they're gonna think you're a fucking professional. Like, I'm a fucking idiot, but when you see me using this, you're gonna think I'm a pro or not. I mean, do you really think this guy is a pro? So anyway, later this evening, I'm gonna go on a shoot for a local football club. I'm basically just gonna take photos and videos of their football match. When you're shooting a football match or any sort of sports, you need a really good zoom lens, AKA this fucking thing. <laughs> so yeah, this lens should help me in getting some good shots. And if not, then I guess I'm just shit. And for all that said and done, it's time to go and shoot some shit and hopefully get some bangers. If not, then I'm probably just gonna quit photography and videography and never touch a camera again. So pressure is on, let's go. Okay, so it's been a few days since uh, the part you just saw. The reason being is because I caught the biggest fucking cold I've ever fucking had in my entire fucking life. It's the worst thing I've ever fucking experienced in my life. Like, you don't want to experience what I've been experiencing for the past few days. Like, it was literally hell on earth. But I'm all good now, luckily. So I'm able to record the second part of this video. So the thing with these photos is that you don't need to edit them that much. It's really important to know your client and to know what they're looking for. They don't really need crazy over edited. Yeah, they're just simple photos, right? That's something I struggled with when I started. I used to literally just edit all the photos like I normally do for Instagram. Some people just want simple photos that get the point across. And that's exactly what I've done with these photos. I haven't edited them like I normally do. And that's simply because you don't really need to with these photos. So you can see with these photos, I've literally just done like simple adjustments, highlights down, shadows up, a little bit of clarity, not too much, not played around with the colors too much because the more you do, the more you destroy the image. I don't really touch the color grading panel that much. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't really use it that much. The compression you get on a 70 to 200 lens is just insane. Like, look at this shit. People talk about the holy trinity of lenses and it's like the 16 to 35, the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200. That is literally it. When you have those three lenses in your arsenal you can do anything well not anything but you get what i mean the lighting conditions for this football match was absolutely perfect it was right at golden hour so we get this beautiful golden lighting and it's just beautiful like look at that shit like what the fuck and that combined with a 70 to 200 lens is just it's just it's better than sex so you can see the before and the after a little underexposed i always shoot underexposed when you shoot underexposed you can retain the highlights and then bring the shadows back up in post and especially when you shoot raw you can afford to shoot underexposed i've also used some graduated filters just to darken up the ground and darken up the sky just to bring more subject focus into obviously the team subject focus is literally like the most important thing in editing. This is one of my favorite shots from the whole shoot just because you got the keeper from the other team in the foreground just to add some depth and then obviously a player from our team, the team I was shooting for in the background or in the mid ground or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't really actually know. It just adds some nice depth into your images. Depth. I can't even speak. Depth. How do you say depth? Depth 
is nice in images. As far as my settings go, I used 1 over 1000 as the shutter speed for like the whole match. And even at that shutter speed, there's a little bit of motion blur in uh, the movements as you can tell by you know the foot right here. If you zoom out, you can't really notice it. I was shooting at 2.8 for the aperture for the whole shoot just to get some nice bokeh. As you can see, it's just incredible like the compression and the bokeh you get from 70 to 200 i'm jerking off this lens like there's no tomorrow but it's true like this lens is insane and obviously the iso i changed according to the lighting conditions as time went on obviously it got darker so i had to boost my iso up to like 5000 yeah you can see in this image right here there's a lot of grain i shot this at 4000 iso i added some noise reduction like 26 percent it's obviously not getting rid of all of it like you can see if i turn it off there's a lot of noise and if i turn it back up to where it was before the more you push this noise reduction the more you're basically just ruining the image because you can see a lot of the details here are just becoming like washed out and like disgusting looking i don't, I don't really know how to describe it but it just looks terrible so i don't really push this that far just a little bit and gets the job done. Shooting this football match was a learning experience for me really because I haven't shot that many football matches before. I didn't really know what I was doing. So the photos didn't turn out half bad. Like it could have been better but the things I learned at this football match I'm just gonna take on to the next football match that I shoot if I do. Just a big learning experience this whole thing. This is also a really nice shot because I got the leading lines from the halfway line. The leading lines is something that I always try to find in my photos like leading lines it leads the eye to the subject and in this case with the halfway line. This shot is really nice as well. You got the player in the lower third of the image and just a beautiful golden lighting in the background like chef's kiss. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see the video that I created at this football match, you can go to my old Instagram, karenes1234. It's on there. Like it, comment, do whatever you want. If you want to go and see the photos, you can go to the Instagram of the football team that I'll leave right here. But other than that, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, good on you. I'm proud of you. You're doing good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And uh, see you next time.